Hey guys, how's it going? So, today's video got something really interesting. Um, I did a little picture of a uh, lizard in a tree. Uh, but what it was, and what inspired me to do it, was this right here. Okay, now that is actually the shed. Sorry about that folks, there's a little accident over here. Shh, not yet, I'm not ready. Okay, so anyways, this is actually from an alligator lizard. Now, what's kind of cool is that there's actually alligator lizards out west in Canada, if you didn't know that, right? But when it shed, this is what really is mind-blowing for me, is that it shed everything. Legs, everything, right? Normally, you'd have it breaking off in pieces and chunks, right? And, uh, oh, here, I'll give you an example. See, that's off my legless lizard. And when he sheds, he does shed pretty decent, like pretty close to almost a full shed sometimes, but it breaks off in chunks. But this guy here, even his little feet, his little toes. Oh my God, it's mind blowing, right? Now, I don't happen to have an alligator lizard here because we have one at the zoo um, and uh, it's not mine. But uh, since I do have a legless lizard, I thought maybe I'd show you my little buddy, right? I had him out on to the camera for a little while. But this is the guy that shed that other piece right here, this piece right here, right? And he is a lizard, yes, that's right. That's right. What you're looking at is uh, a, an animal that actually defies the idea of, you know, hey, sorry, snakes don't have legs and lizards do. Well, sorry, wrong. Lizards cannot have legs and they can still be a lizard. How do we know? Well, look at the beautiful eyes, right? You see that? Right? Well, he can blink. Also, see the little hole right there? That's his ear hole. That's right. So, even though he may not have legs, he is a lizard. Also, the other thing, too, is check this out. See right there? That's where um, they call it the anal plate or where his butt starts. And this is all tail. And snakes actually don't have long tails. They actually have short tails, right? Where a lizard would have a longer tail. So, this is my little dude, right? And look at his little tongue. Oh, my gosh. Stick it out. Stick it out. Stick it out. Stick it out. Oh, come on. Come on. Stick it out. Stick it out. Stick out your tongue, you little nut. Oh, I just love this guy. All right. Oh, there is he. You are. You did. Ah, oh, yeah. There you are. There you are. So, watch the video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, give the uh, like situation. Uh, hit the subscribe and the uh, bell for notification. And he's going to go back into his little home, right? Because he just loves to burrow. Oh, gosh. Right, buddy? Yeah. I love him. All right. So, I'll see you at the end of the video.
Well, guys, there you are. A iguana in a tree. Uh, I think I've done this picture once before. Uh, but I really, I just like it because I was like looking at my little scales here. And they're just like, you know, the little intricate scales and how they combine together. Uh, different sizes and shapes that make the animal what it is, right? Uh, you know, you see the different forms, different looks of the scales, right? Look at that. Just that beautiful. Like, it's such a beautiful little thing. It's all that coming together. And it's definitely some really interesting math in the sense of how they come together, the shapes to make the animal, you know, movement and stuff like that. So it's just, you know, mind-blowing. Well, the other thing, too, is uh, I just want to throw a few shout-outs of thank you to uh, people that I know. Um, I'm not going to say names. I'm actually, no. I'm just going to say they've been sending me messages lately. Thank you so much, guys. Love you all, right? So uh, things are going really well here at home, and uh, I'm about to have some sloppy joes. Uh, yeah, so dinner time is on. <laughs> all right, so I'll see you again.